in the middle of this uh, growing space is my garlic bed and I'm just going to add a bit of chicken manure pellets. Uh, normally you don't do this now, you, you do it pre-planting in November, but I wasn't able to do it in November because our we don't really have garden centers here, um, so the stores that would carry this no longer had it on their shelves, they probably had Christmas, I don't know. And I did put seaweed and leaf mulch, I could get my hands on that, but I do feel I, I want to add a bit of this for the nitrogen and um, they normally don't recommend this well growing. You can do it ag again, I don't know if it's late spring or as they're starting to bulb um, because it promotes the leaf growth, but I know that this has got to be lacking in nitrogen, so I'm going to add some and then I'm going to take a look at my poor Brussels sprouts that weathered an ice storm and snow and wind and craziness and uh, we'll see how they fared. So as I said, I'm just adding a light covering. I have 116 garlic in here. even kale survived. Oh look! I'm quite pleased they are dry as anything. Um, this fleece really keeps the rain off. I wasn't expecting it to be that dry. Um, but wow, did they survive some brutal treatment. Not to mention very high winds. I can see some broken stems and that is definitely from uh, this fleece flapping about. So I'm going to get on with watering them. And um, I'm just so pleased at these hardy, this hardy little vegetable. Taking a look now inside my smaller coal frame, or the lower one, I should say. I just took a kohlrabi in the other day, it's not looking good, but other than that, things are sprouting. And this is parsley, parsnips rather that uh, I threw some seeds in the end of the year and I saw they were sprouting when I was planting my seeds and I thought I'd leave them. Might not have been the wisest decision. And uh, now we're going to look at the other one. And this is my second coal frame. It's the taller one, which affords just a little bit more air and less intense heat because the it can rise, of course. So I tested some celery out here two weeks ago. The one way back there, there's an eggplant doing really well back there too. And so I brought some more out. These ones here last week. And they've been in the dark because it's not been very sunny lately. But everything's doing well, so a little update on my two coal frames. So the next thing I'm on to is what am I going to plant next week? Hopefully if the weather improves and uh, it is supposed to get warmer. I have to get the beds prepared, the raised beds, but um, the next thing on my list is parsnips and carrots. So I just want to go through what I've got. Um, this Harris model from Vessies, I grew these last year and they're fabulous and they're sweet. You can eat them at any size, which is what I do. I don't wait till vegetables are full size at all. I actually prefer smaller vegetables usually for most veggies, but I'm also not, due to my climate and extreme freeze here, I'm not going to go out and dig parsnips up in the winter out of the ice or carrots. So I just eat them as I go along and when they run out, they run out. Um, so these are sweet right from the get-go. Love them. I've also got some just leftover carrots. I've Put the wee Parisian and I'm not sure. Maybe a small, small manance out in the coal frame. We'll see how they do. 
But I've got uh, Napoli that's, ex they grew really well for me last year too. Just some leftover seeds from last year. That's for sure. That's not, oh, I bought these at the grocery store. It's the mixed color. It's all wrapped up. They were good. I'm going to try to finish those seeds up. This is Chantenay, but I'm not even sure if these are still viable. It's quite old. It should work. We'll see. And I have, oh, this was from Baker Creek. They give you some free samples. And this is the Amarillo carrot, which is supposed to be really sweet tasting, the yellow one. So I'm going to try that one, or so they claim. And then I'm going to put some broad beans out and my Swiss chard. I've got Silverado, which is a beautiful green, the best flavor I find is the green. The colored ones, I've got a kaleidoscope and they look lovely in the garden, They're beautiful, but really I, this flavor in this, it's our most favorite green for my husband and I. And then I've got some Ruby Red, which last year, it took me quite a while to realize that they weren't beets. I was wondering why my beets weren't bulbing up. I had succession plant beets all over my garden because we're big beet fans also. Um, anyways, silly me, it was the red Swiss chard, grew beautifully also. So that's what's next on my agenda for getting out in the garden.